Hey guys, it's TechRan here. In today's video, I'm going to tell you how to separate your audio for multi-streaming. That is right. Now, if you guys want to be able to stream to YouTube while having your mic, game audio, but not your music, then having Twitch have everything, including music on top of it, without YouTube having that for copyright reasons, I'm going to show you how to do that here today. So let's get right into it. Before I teach you guys how to separate your audio tracks from multi-streaming, you're of course going to have to download the latest version of OBS, which I will have a link to downloading OBS Studio for the latest version. That, or if you do need to update your OBS Studio, what you want to do is load up your OBS, of course, here. And what you're going to do is go to help. And in help, what you want to do is go to check for updates and make sure to check for updates. And if it says the 30 versions available to update to, update to it. And of course, for me, I'm already updated to it. So you're pretty much good. But as long as it says OBS 30.0, we can get to the next main step. So the first thing to do is get the multi-stream plugin for OBS. I will have it linked down below in the description for you guys to go download it for yourself. And right below the actual link for download, I will have a video on how to set it on up. Then you can come back here and I'll teach you how to separate your audio tracks. Now that you have the multi-stream set to whatever platforms you want to stream to, whether it be YouTube, Twitch or kick, we're going to specify the audio tracks for each one of these. So that way we have certain audio sources go to each one of them. Now, if you guys did not know, there's six different audio tracks. You have one through six. And of course, we're going to set up one for YouTube to be only our mic and also our game. And then for Twitch, we're going to make sure it's everything or you can specify to however you like when you go through this process and show you how to. So how we're going to do this is go to modify for YouTube. And we're only going to focus on the audio settings because that's what you need the keyboard you need to focus on here today. Because and what we're going to do is customize this from get from OBS to AAC. And what we're just going to do is make sure it's set to audio mixer track one because it's going to capture track one of audio. And we're not actually going to customize track one to whatever we want. So what you're going to do is go into your audio mixer on the OBS, click on the three dots, and then go to advanced audio properties. Within advanced audio properties, you'll see through six different tracks if you swipe right right here. Uh, and of course, you can set this however way you want. What we want to do is make sure our desktop audio is actually unchecked from track one, but our mic for our aux and stuff like that, whichever would be your mic for OBS, is actually enabled. So that is good. So what actual desktop audio does, by the way, if you want me to clarify, desktop audio catches pretty much everything on the computer, whether it be music, games, uh, your mic, all that jazz or any output source, it'll display it there. And what we want to make sure is disable this because we're using this primarily for YouTube because YouTube music, YouTube, all this copyrighted material, of course, go through the actual audio, the desktop audio, and you can't actually capture uh, Google as a separate audio source. That's why we're disabling it. So that way, just no problems down the line. You know what I'm saying? And then of course, you want to set this up later. You can always recheck it if you want to like watching. What we want to do is actually add our game of choice. So for me, I'm going to add Apex Legends. And how we're going to capture the audio for that is we're going to right click in sources, add go to application audio capture which is a new thing they added which makes it so much easier for this video that was a big reason why i waited to make this video and we're going to add this and then what we want to do is go to window and then find whatever game we're going to capture so we'll look for apex legend you see right here and i can tell by r5 apex.exe or just apex legends all right and then you want to set this up to whatever game you're going to mainly play you want to make sure to capture the audio source for it and you got to make sure the game is loaded so you can see like apex legends is loaded here if it was not loaded i would not be able to capture the separate audio source so make sure to load up your game beforehand then of course you want to go into the window find that game and of course add it and with that though we have apex legends actually audio source captured and we want to rename this file by right clicking on it and just name it to apex legends so that way we don't get the audio track mixed up and then we don't know what's what you know what i'm saying but that though we have apex legends now so if i click on that you should see the obs we have a little audio marker here right apex legends and of course that uh this top audio is capturing too so we know our game's added and what we want to do is go to the advanced audio properties and make sure that apex legends is checked for track one or for whatever game you have set now if you want to add spotify we're going to do the same process we're going to right click add audio capture device and we want to look for spotify and stuff and make sure the application is open of course then you want to go to window and then look down for spotify.exe on the left hand side because that's the main thing for actual spotify you don't want to click with the soundbar one because that doesn't work and with that though we have now spotify added and of course we actually play some music on spotify here you actually should see should start working here and what we want to make sure is actually the rename it of course to the application which is spotify so we don't lose it with that though we now have our game music and also google organized and what we do now is right click not right click advanced audio properties again and we want to make sure the uncheck spotify from track one and with that though we're pretty much good to go the only thing we need to do if you're streaming you want to make sure you have your alerts actually captured because most alerts usually go through desktop audio we want to add uh, the alerts have their own separate actual audio file so what we want to do is add alerts like you normally would in obs add 
uh, by right clicking browse the source and of course click OK. And what we're going to do here is go to our, you know, link for whatever we're using your widgets for copy that paste it in the URL. And then this is the important part. Make sure to enable control audio via OBS. And we're going to add that. With that though, you'll see browser, browser, and we want to rename this to alerts. And that way you can capture your alert audio in the OBS and actually have some control over it. And then we of course can go to the events audio properties again. And with that though, we now have our alerts, game, and mic for YouTube, but no copyright itself. Now, if you want to actually set this up for Twitch to have pretty much everything or for Facebook and all that jazz, of course, we're going to go to Twitch, modify again like what we normally did, and then make sure to change to get from OBS to AAC. But instead of using track one, we're going to use track two. And track two is going to be for everything that we have going to Twitch that we want. So we want music, we want our game, we want our mic, we want our alerts. We're going to have all that jazz. And we can make sure of that by checking the events audio and make sure everything is checked. With that, though, we're good to go. So you can really mess, up, mess with this however you want, and you can set to each platform to a different one. So for example, you can make track three kick, you can make track four YouTube, track five, whatever platform you want to. The steps are pretty much exactly the same, but the only thing you different is setting each platform to have their own different audio track. Now there's another step you need to make sure to do when you're actually streaming with OBS, you gotta make sure you have your settings in OBS modified too on your outputs, because if you're streaming with actually like your OBS normally to actually Twitch, and then you're using the plugin to other platforms, you got to make sure to have a dedicated track for this one. So you can see I have audio track one for this, but we use this for YouTube, right? What we're going to do is make track four for actually our Twitch, because we're going to use this to stream to Twitch, and then the plugin's going to be for YouTube and stuff like that. And then of course, with that, we're good to go. We can apply that, and then we can customize this however we want if we were streaming to uh, Twitch. So let's say track four is Twitch with normal OBS, and the plugin's doing the rest of these, which is pretty nice. So that's good. And then another thing to keep in mind on top of that, if you are recording videos, I would recommend doing one more thing. I would recommend going to your output, go to recording settings and make sure this is on advanced. Make sure it's not on simple. Keep it on advanced. And what you're going to do is actually change the recording format to actually MKV because that supports multi audio tracks. And what you want to do is when you record videos of this, it will record all the audio tracks. We'll only have set to one. Check all six of the tracks. So that way, if you are recording at all at any given point, you can actually use the track layout for each one. And I would recommend dedicating one of these tracks just for recording videos. So like I would automatically say, say have track five to have every single audio setting. So go to like track five and advanced audio properties, make track five, have everything. So that way, if you want to actually just grab audio from things you can, so I can use this now when I record. So if I'm recording, not only can I have the Twitch audio audio layout, I could also have uh, YouTube and all that jazz, whatever you have these set to, you can do so. But that's how, of course, to organize your audio tracks for different platforms to separate them for live streaming and multi streaming. If you guys did find this video helpful, make sure to smash the like button and get subscribed so you don't miss some future tech content because we're trying to hit 5,000 subscribers before the end of the year. I can honestly see if us possibly getting 10K, but I'm gonna set my expectations low for the time being. And yeah, if you guys don't want to miss some future videos, get subscribed and I'll see you guys for another one. Tech Grant out.